Well, hello there. This is Stoogely. Episode 29 of my Better Than Wolves Let's Play. Uh, let me do a little intro and actually turn that off and turn that back on or off or on. Uh, let me do you a little quick tour of where I am. Then I'll actually show you me actually making all this. This is my Cauldron Crucible little building. This is where I have my millstone, where I have my hopper and my turntable. This is my saw, right there, and with the intent that I'll quadruple it, put four saws here eventually. I'm not entirely sure why, I just closed that right in front of me. Anyways. Everything is gone from up there. Uh, I've built a wall, as you can see right there. Kind of looks like that. I figured that's about as nice looking as I can make it with the materials I have. Uh, I tried to make these buildings look pretty much exactly the same because I figured that might look good. I still need to decorate all this stuff. Uh, I don't have any materials with me now. Put some, you know, fences and corners and whatever, whatnot. But I'll do that uh, another video. But yeah, I have all these walls all around here. I've torched the entire place up. Uh, started to break this wall because uh, that wall is going to go. Uh, I have a couple areas like right here where the wall is low here and right there because I don't want spiders to get in there. And I don't have the pumpkins uh, walled off yet, but for the most part, it's pretty much walled off. So that is where I am. I will show you the underneath, then I will cut, and I will show you me actually building all of this. And let's do that. And you'll see me build all of this in about... A minute or two and that's where the water comes in and it's all my line of power to all the various uh, parts of my buildings so this is where the saw is right now anyways let me cut right here and we'll get right to the video I believe it is time to plant some of that wheat that I got the last episode or two so my wheat empire will be growing.
It's a dark and stormy day as I come to take a look at my empire. Looking at the lightning strikes. And I got hit by lightning. Or at least that's what I think happened anyways. I spawn in the desert. I guessed that I was in the desert to the west of original spawn. So I headed south and a bit east. Basically, again, guessing. And yes, I got very, very, very lucky that I spawned close enough to my base. So here I am, I'm picking up all of my various uh, machines, the bellows, grease ball, that stuff. Uh, one 
time I played this, I was doing this, I was picking everything up, and I was moving everything to another spot, so I grabbed everything, so everything was my in, in my inventory, I was under my, my base, I dug a piece of dirt, above that piece of dirt was gravel, and on that gravel were a couple of slimes, uh, the, the gravel fell, the slimes fell with them, and in my panic, somehow I brought up like Excel, as I remember, I died, I spawned in the middle of nowhere, lost everything, all my equipment, everything, all my, you know, crucibles, all that, so that was fun. I spawned to the south, I, in the end I figured out where I actually spawned. I went back down into that mine shaft, because I didn't hear any spiders. You can see the web, which made me kind of a little bit concerned. This web kind of makes you think spiders. So I am being trying to be a bit cautious here. I'm still not hearing any spiders. So I thought maybe this is just the way it is. I'm just collecting the, the web. And the spiders come say hello. Finally get it. Fall into some web. I go down to a half a heart. And I just like slowly crawl back to safety. Almost dying. I didn't die. I survived. Here I am, placing down the crucible and the cauldron, or stoked cauldron, I guess. Placing the uh, sandstone so that it will stay up. And then I place the, uh, start building up the kiln as well in a second here. Um, if I was able to uh, place the, the blocks, but I figured out eventually. I clay that up so it stays and I put the rest of the bricks there.
so now that I've built the structure, I can actually place all the equipment down. So I put the turntable down, I move over, grab the hoppers, put a hopper there, and put the soul sand in in a second here. Soul sand will help me with, well, making hellfire, what was it, hellfire dust or the netherrack, ground netherrack, whatever it's called. So I put the hopper there and the millstone. I do get the occasional visitor in the water, which needs to be fixed. They're not too hard to kill at this point, but they can be distracting. After building 
the building, the building for the building, the building for the saw. I finally place it down. And I start to build around it here. To make everything nice and pretty. I only have one saw so far. I'll, there'll be three more eventually. And I test it out, make sure it works. And it does. And then I come around the corner here and start building my wall. I figured this is actually a fairly nice uh, design here. It's 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 nice without being overly uh, difficult to make. It's all cobblestone and wood, so it's easy to make all this kind of stuff. I would probably design it differently if I had better stuff. I think it looks pretty nice. But I'm just showing bits and pieces of me actually making this wall. I made the wall all across um, the area, so but I'm showing a little sn snippet. And you watch carefully. Lightning strike right there. Which I didn't really understand the consequence of that. I'm lighting up the area with torches. And all of a sudden, I look up and um, see my entire building on fire. Yeah, actually, very, actually, I cut here, but I quickly kind of broke a lot of bricks, got my saw out, and fixed it, so. Another one of our watery friends comes to visit by. I try to kill it from the land, but yeah, that's not going to happen. He wants to eat me. But again, I kill him pretty easily. With that in mind, I decide to uh, make changes. I get some clay, put it onto the turntable, let it spin a little bit to get the soul urn, which appears right about now. So I grab that, I cook it up in the kiln, pops off right there, I put it underneath the hopper, I get some ground netherrack, eight, throw it in there, completely missed evidently, I try once again, and what you get is a soul urn, with that soul urn, along with some gravel, sand, and a bucket, you get a nifty little thing called cement. So I get a cement bucket. What I can do there is place that in the water and it makes a bunch of stone. And I think squid cannot spawn in too high water. So hopefully I can get rid of all the squid. As you can see, the stone starts to uh, spread right there. 
So now I'm now I have too high water at least right there. So hopefully the squid will be gone. So that is the end of episode 29. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I did expand this. And as you can see here, there's going to be absolutely nothing up here. Uh, except that redstone clutch, which I'm not sure if I really need that either. But yeah, all this stuff is gone. And I'll probably tear this down. My plan is to build an actual windmill or something here. Just leave the windmill here just for looks, basically. And eventually I'll build a house, but that's what it looks like from up here. So hopefully you enjoyed the episode, and until next time, see you later.